Welcome to our product release update video for version 2.86 of the Feedback Fruits Tool Suite. We hope you've had some rest and relaxation over the holidays, and now we're delighted to share the latest changes from both this release and the updates from version 2.85 last month. So let's get started. With the first update on our list, in Brightspace, it's now possible to migrate existing activities from LTI 1.1 to LTI 1.3. Using LTI 1.3 was already possible for new activities, but previously using Brightspace's migration tool could lead to bad requests. This has now been resolved, so you can support and reuse more activities within your LMS. Next up, some improvements to team-based learning have brought in some functionalities already found in our other tools. In the configurable grading module, it's now possible to make an optional grade adjustment so individual students can receive changes to their grades at the discretion of the teacher. This makes it easier to accommodate the various nuances which arise, especially in larger student cohorts. Also, time windows in team-based learning have received some attention with the goal of making it simpler both for teachers to add and modify timers and for students to see how much time is left for a stage in the activity. So changes to the UI now make it easier to see when a step opens or closes. And as a teacher, you can easily change deadlines, extend them or grant individual or whole class extensions within this interface. As for changes from last month's version 2.85, there have been more improvements to discussion on topic, making available existing functionalities from other tools in this one. So now you can select most valuable contributions. You can add this module while in edit mode by scrolling to the bottom of the activity, and this step can be included in any grade weighting. Flag posts or report to teacher. So as a student, you have the power to bring certain posts to the attention of the teacher, and as a teacher, you can respond appropriately, as well as being able to delete any posts. And search posts by using the search bar function. This is a great way to quickly see if a keyword or topic has been talked about already, or see how many people have already covered a certain topic. This should be useful, especially when larger groups of students are involved in the discussion. As well as these updates, there have been the usual internal improvements and bug fixes arising from our constant communication with educators. And if you come across anything you think could work better to support your use case, don't forget our support team is minutes away, 24 hours a day through the week. So do get in touch and see the fruits of your feedback.